Hello and welcome to Sleep in Peace. I'd like to warmly welcome you to this class. If you are looking for a way to connect more deeply with the living support and peace and relaxation that is outpouring to us from the divine, then you are in the right place. Um, tonight's class, we're going to focus on uh, what do you do if you have significant anxiety um, and have a hard time getting to sleep. Uh, I'm going to give you some tips to work with but we're gonna still go through the same format of the class tonight. <clears throat> I'm just gonna be giving you some cues that are talking specifically about the anxiety. Uh, for this practice, we're working off of a journal and um, the page that we're working off of is in the link to this um, video. So you can just click into more in the description box and grab that link and print that out and then you'll be following along with us or you can just grab a journal and um, I'll walk you through the steps that we are going through tonight um, for practice. So you can go ahead and um, grab a journal or or get the link from class for the practice. I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted from my sweetie. Um, and grab a pen and find yourself in a comfortable seated position. We're going to be here for about 25 minutes. Yes, good girl. Love you. Yes, I do. Um, so go ahead and get yourself situated and we will begin. All right, so we begin our time together in the same way that we are invited to begin all of our moments of conscious awareness, and that is to first pause and take a moment to recognize how you are connected to and supported by the place where you are seated. Take a moment and notice how your body is held by your seat. Let's go ahead and notice that together now. And as you are noticing how you are held by the place where you are seated, we're going to take a moment to recognize which part of your body feels the most held by your seat. As you are noticing that part that feels the most held, you want to go ahead and write that down into your journal. And if you are in bed later on tonight and you are feeling again that uh, intensity with the anxiety, you want to take a moment and notice which part of your bed is holding you and supporting you the most. Is it your pillow, maybe a way that your leg is supported or your hip? You want to find that place that is the most held. As you recognize that area, we're going to refresh our brain's awareness of that. We're saying here is where I am already held right where I am seated. You want to give your brain a, a few moments to refresh that awareness. Here is where I am already held right where I am seated. And as your brain sees that, you want to give your body one minute to absorb the experience of being held.
And as you are absorbing the experience of being held, you want to take a moment to notice what does that quality of support feel like to you? There's going to be a word or a statement. Notice what that quality of support feels like to you. And as you are noticing that quality of support, you want to take a moment, you're going to circle that, and we're allowing the brain to refresh its awareness of that. It's just a step deeper into that intimacy of support. I'm saying this is, this living support belongs to me. This is God's gift to me in this moment. This living support belongs to me. Take a moment and allow yourself to receive and absorb that experience of living support. We're going to spend another minute here taking that in. And then from that place, we want to take a moment and notice, is there any place within that is not able to receive the support? Now, for those of you who are experiencing significant anxiety, you might feel, where do you feel that? Is it in your, is it in your brain? Is it in your throat or your jaw? Maybe in your chest or around your heart, in your lungs? You want to take a moment and notice, where is the most intense place where that where you feel that and remember you have two hands so there could be maybe two places you could hold you want to go ahead and place your hands directly on the part of your body that is the um, that is not able to receive the living support you just want to bring your presence to that area And I'm not trying to do some breathing exercise or push the support in or override it. I'm just offering presence and warmth. And I'm letting that part of my body that feels incapable of taking that in. I'm just saying, take all the time that you need. That's all I'm doing. I'm just staying with myself there. Take all the time that you need. 
We're going to stay here for about five minutes. And watch what happens. And you're allowing the place that feels incapable or maybe resistant to speak into the warmth of your hands. It's like talking to the warmth of your hands or expressing into the warmth of your hands. And then you want to take a moment and just notice how that feels. You want to refresh your awareness one more time of that primary support. You can make notes of anything that comes up for you. And then from that place, we want to take a moment and notice what challenges are you, or not challenges, what are the things that happened in your day-to-day -day that went really well? Go ahead and make a list of those in your journal, maybe five or ten things. You want to take a moment and pick one of the things on your list, maybe one of the most primary things on your list that stands out, and you want to take a moment to notice 
what is the living support that flows through that thing? What does it feel like for you to have that circumstance alive in your life today? Take a moment and notice that. You want to take a moment and you're going to receive that. You're saying, this is another of God's living gifts to me. And you're allowing yourself to experience that and more fully absorb that. Then you want to take a moment and recognize, is there any place in your system that is not able to receive that living support? You want to just place your hand on that area if you can sense it. If not, you can just continue receiving where it's going well.
And then from that place, we want to take a moment to notice what are the things that are still in process or maybe that are still challenging you today. And maybe it is your challenge with sleeping. When you think about that and maybe feel how that rises up in your mind, your thoughts about trying to get to sleep or maybe, um, maybe tension in your neck or your throat or around your heart or around your abdomen, Take a moment and notice where that is. And if it's in your head, if it's in your mind primarily, take another pillow and prop it up. And really hold, hold your head very, very tenderly. Or if it's in your throat, try to get your arms positioned where you're not working to hold the area where you're having a challenge. Um, or maybe there is a circumstantial challenge that is causing the anxiety. So take a moment and notice what it is. You're going to write it down into your journal. What is still challenging you or what is still in process for you today? And as you look at those challenges that are in process, you want to take a moment and notice where do those come alive within your system? Where do you feel those primarily? And you want to just offer some presence and some warmth there. And you also want to notice if the intensity moves around uh, your body. So maybe the sensation of what is alive for you has moved to a different place. You can follow that with your hands, uh, offering tenderness and presence.
And then from there, as we are moving into our state of rest, um, if you're changing positions through the night, you can refresh your awareness of where you're supported then, because it's going to change. And also the word may change. Each time you're meeting and holding an area that is um, in a state of intensity or in a state of significant aliveness like anxiety can tend to do, the goal is trying to really meet where the, where the most of that is alive. And what you'll find is that when you're feeling it from inside your body's perspective, your hand feels like it's really, really far away even though your brain knows it's right there on your skin, but it feels so far away because that's um, the internal resistance that we have to support, to um, letting comfort in, because that part of our system is so overwhelmed. And so what we're doing is as we hold that awareness and as we hold that presence for a minute to five minutes, maybe sometimes 20 minutes, what happens is the body begins to acclimate and the nervous system has the time that it might need to be able to recognize that it can begin to let that in. Now, if you are somebody who's experiencing a significant amount of anxiety, sometimes um, your own tone of touch might even be too intense. So you might use like a pillow or a blanket or even uh, a warm blanket, something like that, something that is comforting but maybe not even direct touch depending on what types of traumas you've gone through or things that have happened in your life that have been overwhelming. So this is a way that we can kind of, um, you know, there's been certainly stages in my journey where um, I would just be up like all night long from like one in the morning all the way through. And what I would do is I finally said, you know what, I'm going to become a student of myself and I'm going to, rather than laying here and suffering, I'm going to get up and I'm going to start following and holding these different areas and this is my time to practice because nothing, there's nothing else that is required of me. My brain would get overwhelmed because I'd be thinking, I need to be asleep, I need to, I'm not going to feel good tomorrow if I don't do this, but really, I think these parts of ourselves that are stuck in these anxiety loops have been stuck there so long that they're trying to get our attention that they need to be held, they need to be heard, they need to be supported. So that's one thing to consider is like, Noticing how far away your hand feels when you're holding it, even though you're right there connected. And then the other piece that is really important is recognizing that that part of yourself has something that it wants to say. And if I can let it, if I can let myself experience expressing into the warmth of my hands, into a presence that is there, this is God's living um, support and presence, if I can let it flow into that fully. If it wants to scream into it, it can. If it wants to whisper into it, it can. If it wants to just think about it, it can. But allowing there to be um, an expression of what is happening for you and then also a presence that catches that expression. And you'll see there's this whole mystery that begins to unfold when we really begin to learn to wield this power of radical support and presence. Um, I don't have to do anything. I just have to be there and acknowledge and notice what then begins to unfold. And God will be giving you support in many, many different ways throughout this. You can always be every five, 10 minute intervals. You can kind of check and see how much of my body is able to receive support now. And is it the same quality of support or is there something different that's being provided? Those are really helpful tools. Also, I do private sessions, so if you guys ever need support, I can certainly offer a private session. You can come here and I can actually physically work with your body and help your body begin to strength train, learning how to receive living support. And you're welcome to come to some of the advanced classes and learn more about your nervous system and how God designed your nervous system to be in intimate relationships so that you can receive love and care and direction at any time. Thank you for being patient with me tonight. I know tonight's class went a little longer, but hopefully for those of you who are really struggling with anxiety, this can be a great tool for you to kind of learn that pace and presence that will help unlock some of these um, really overwhelmed places in your nervous system. Thank you for being here, and I give all of my thanks to my living Jesus Christ who leads me on this very narrow path, and yet there's a path that takes me home to the safety and security of God's living heart in every moment. 
so that I can rest to be renewed and redirected on my path. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And thank you, participants. You're now one step closer to a deeper relationship with Christ. Take care. Have a great night.